um hey guys uh welcome to today's lesson so today it's a, a parametric equation so so this is based on question one of your n6 final examination so if you have been practicing with uh, past papers you will notice that question one is partial fraction i mean not a uh, partial differentiation parametric equations and rate of change yeah so there will be another video on rate of change but today we're focusing only on uh, parametric equations okay so on your screen there you have uh, uh, two parametric equations so if i have x which is a function of t so usually and in your your course and they give you a function of t or function of theta so it can be uh two of, of those okay let me just get my pen up here so another one can be function of theta those are the two i have seen so far in your course but you can have you can make it a function of anything yeah so remember from from this x a function of theta we can derive x respect to to t and we can also derive y respect to t so the question here they might ask you to determine uh the derivative remember this chapter is uh differentiation that the derivative dy dx and if you check so far we can easily get dx dt and dy dt so how do we convert that to dx dy dt so the easy way to convert it is by saying dy dt over dx dt and if you notice your dt and dt will cancel you'll be left with dy dt so the function you got here uh for dx dt and the function for dy dt you just divide the two so another easy way also uh, other other textbooks they say dy dt times the opposite of dx dt which is dt dx do you see what happens they still cancel dt and dt remember if i'm going to divide by dt dx dt when, when i change it to mul multiplication uh i should multiply by the opposite so let's do a quick example here let's say i have y it's uh, let's say 2t squared and let's say i have x it's 3t plus t squared this is just example then uh, we know our dy dt will be 4t our dx dt will be 3 plus 2t so if you follow the formula my dy dx i said what i said dy dt at the top which is 4t at the top divide by 3 plus 2t you are done do you see even if you said dy dy dt multiplied by dt over dx if you check here if i convert this to dt over dx because i swapped the left hand side i must also swap the right hand side do you see if i'm going to multiply the two i will still end up on that answer so that's how you're going to uh, do this so another common thing they like asking is the second derivative they can ask you to determine the second derivative of this so remember this means you are deriving your dy dx again respect to x this that's what it means this one there so yeah so i'll show you this on the next page how to to get uh, this so yeah let's move to the next slide and i'll start with this before i do the example which is on the next slide okay okay i think we should continue with that example but before 
let me just show you this and i'll erase it then we do the example remember i was explaining the second derivative i said this means you are deriving your dy dx remember when we did partial fractions you're deriving it again so that's why at the top you'll have d squared y at the bottom you'll have dx squared so it means you are deriving this again and remember we already have dy dx which is 4t over 3 plus 2t then we have dy dt which is 4t we have dx dt which is uh, 3 plus 2t now if you check your function we can't if i'm going to substitute for example if i'm going to substitute dy dx dy dx is a function of uh t so i can't i cannot derive it respect to x so i must change that to d dt so if i change this to dt this one is still dy dx then i must multiply by uh, dt over dx so if you check it's like i did nothing because if you uh, multiply it back your dt and dt will cancel the dx will come back here so this is the formula you will always use for the second derivative if you remember that formula it's easy to do any second der derivative because from here i will have this I will just substitute my dy dx which is 4t 3 plus 2t then remember my dt dx is the opposite of dx dt which is 1 over 3 plus 2t another thing this bracket you cannot multiply 3 plus 2t into your bracket because this bracket it it, it you must first derive it in respect to t then after the answer you multiply it there i hope that's clear so yeah if you are writing you can pause the video and, and copy it down because I, I have to do one quick example before we uh, do our last example so let me erase and let's get to that example So I'll do the example in terms of theta. So they can give you anything. They can give you sine. They can give you cos. But remember, we are in N6, so we can uh, be, we can deal with that. So let's say we have y is okay. I want to make it easier. If y is uh, cos cos theta then x is sine theta then we know from here we must determine dy d theta which is minus sine theta from here we must determine dx d theta which is cos theta then if i want dy dx remember i must divide i think it's also important you write the formula you can write it like this or you can write the one with the multiple uh, uh, the product sign the one for multiplying so if i'm going to divide minus and theta and cos theta i'll get minus tan theta then that's the first derivative so now the second derivative the second derivative i told you the formula you will use is this one don't forget this formula I showed you how it's derived don't forget it and it's easier to remember remember uh, this let me put it here remember I said this is the same it means you are deriving this again the dy dx again respect to x but because the function of dy dx is already in terms of theta you must replace that by d theta so that d theta times another d theta they are cancelling out and dx so don't forget then from here now you can 
substitute you have minus tan theta times 1 over cos theta because this is d theta over x and here this is dx over d theta which means d theta over x will be the opposite so now you derive tan you get negative x squared theta times 1 over cos theta what do we know 1 over cos is the same as sec so this will be negative sec cube theta there i hope it's clear unfortunately uh, you can ask any questions you can just pause and try to understand okay yeah so one over okay let me confirm one over cos it's the same as sec so that's sec and this sec will be sec cube yeah then that's your final answer so if they only wanted dy dx you will end here but if they want uh, the second derivative you must do until then okay now let's do the last part this video i want to keep it as short as possible okay the last one this is from uh, one of the 2019 ex final exam papers so you are given x it's square root of t y is 1 over square root of t so let's write it properly we know square root of t is t exponent half y it's t exponent negative half if we take it to the top so now we have to determine dx dt we know if we derive that we get negative half here we determine dy dt if we derive that we get negative half t we subtract one we get three over two now from here okay let me make space for the second derivative from here we can determine dy dx we divide the two don't forget it will be dy dt it will be negative half t negative 3 over 2 over dx dt t negative half so do we see half and half will cancel will be, will be left with negative t minus 3 over 2 plus 1 over 2 so negative 3 halves plus 1 over 2 we have what negative negative 1 i believe okay negative one there we can leave it like that remember when you dividing exponents you subtract when you divide the same basis you subtract the exponents so that's our dy dt i don't have to simplify it because the next step we will if i make it one over t the next step we might need to take it back to the top remember the question here is to determine the second derivative and we know the second derivative we spoke about this it will be d dt of dy dx times dt dx then we know this means you are deriving you substitute dy dx which is minus t exponent minus one times remember your dt dx is the opposite of uh dx dt so which means it's one over half t exponent half then i'll end it here so now if i derive negative t exponent negative one i'm getting positive t exponent negative two then if i multiply this one over that that one over half will give me positive two then that t exponent negative half t exponent half i can take it to the top okay this is t exponent negative half because this is the question so if i take it to the top it will be positive half so now your answer is 2 t exponent uh, half minus 2 it's negative 3 over 2 there that's your answer you don't have to you can simplify it take it to the bottom as if you want it's not necessary
if you want if i take it to the bottom it will be uh, a square root of t cube like this that's what they wanted for three marks so let's quickly recap it so we had t x it's t exponent half we did dx dt which is half t exponent negative half we had y which is t exponent negative half dy dt negative half t exponent negative three over two then we divide the two the dy dt at the top dx dt at the bottom so negative half over half is negative one t to negative three over two over t to negative one over two we got negative one then the main trick it's here the question uh, the formula don't forget this formula but i think this formula they yeah they give it to you exactly like this in the formula sheet always so it's in the formula sheet don't forget it then from there what's important is you substitute dy dx because that's the only things you have from here it's dy dx and dt dx then you substitute them this means we must derive this function here respect to t and we derived it we got t exponent negative 2 then this one we just divided 1 divided by half is because it's 2 then we, we took t exponent negative half to the top it became it became positive half then you do your math then and we are done all right uh i'll see you next time uh, next video okay thank you bye bye guys